I got two messages from my best friend and my brother that both said basically the same thing. Did you watch the last episode of Mando? I'm crying. It was that good. Star Wars fans, real Star Wars fans, really love this episode. What'd you guys think? I mean, it was fantastic. I was watching it with my kids, and they were all thrilled. It was exciting. We're watching the lightsaber come through, and we're all like, oh, no, that's not who it is. No. <laughs> I mean, Brian, as a, as a Star Wars fan, didn't, I mean, a large, a vast majority of the community was let down by the recent films. And, I mean, you were waiting for the franchise to be saved, and it's being revitalized in front of our eyes. I don't, I don't blame anybody for shedding a tear or two. Like it's not, it's, it sounds like it's perfect. It is every real star Wars fan, every real star Wars fan that down deep, that grew up with the Skywalker movies and all that fun stuff wants to see badass Jedi Knight Luke. That's what we want to see. And we thought we were getting it by Abrams. And, you know, uh, my uh, my best friend told me uh, this something that really just made me think about it. He goes, this makes me more angry at Kathleen Kennedy and J.J. Abrams for screwing that up. Bringing Luke back the way they did and screwing that up. This proves that this is what we wanted. And and they, they should have listened. And Filoni, Favreau, and Lucas right now are listening. They've been listening hard and they're they're giving us what we want. Yeah, for the record, uh, a lot of fans cried um, after the last trilogy, uh, but it was for a completely different reason. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, poo-pooing a television series that elicits that kind of an emotional response from fans is, I mean, it's just silly. It's, Heartless. Uh, it, well, it's immature. It's like an immature critique. Like, how dare these fans be so captivated by this content that they shed tears of joy at the end of a season, like um, with Kevin Smith getting, uh, you know, like shat on by people because he's like uh, his uh, Instagram or Twitter responses were, I mean, exceptional to all of it. He's like, I'm just a sad boy. I thought he handled it perfectly. Uh, but more importantly, um, the content was phenomenal. I mean, Frank, Baby Yoda thing was the strike of genius whoever freaking did that but what if what if baby yoda slash grogu was always just this he was a vehicle to get us back to luke because the rumors are the season three is going to take place right after the other cool thing at the end of this episode book of boba is going to run into season three so it'll be like a four or five uh show mini series that will end and as season three starts and season three is going to have scenes to tell us like what's up with grogu and it's going to show luke with grogu at the jedi academy training him and we're going to see luke training a young ben solo but yeah if that's the case about, um the kid from stranger things and about um What's his face? Sebastian uh, Stan. Sebastian Stan. Well, there's been a lot of talk that he looked like Luke forever anyways. Yeah, and, and the fans would love it. I think the fans would be totally okay with it. I, I still think one of the best things I remember seeing after the, the premiere was uh, Mark Hamill tweeting something like, watch anything good today? I know that's the right. exact line, but it's something in that realm, and you're like, you. Yeah, it was good stuff. Uh, I mean, it, it like vindicated a character that many felt got uh, a real raw deal. I, I don't know that I can think of a single person who was like, yeah, you know, Luke Skywalker really shook out the way I wanted to in, in those last three films. I mean, I can't think of a single person that says that. So here we go. Uh, Ra Raider Bear says the wife walked in on me crying and said, what's wrong? I said Mando while sobbing. She said, you're fucked and walked off shaking her head. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. I was going to well, say, uh, even even Mark Hamill wasn't thrilled with the way they portrayed his character. So I think this is a nice nod to keep him involved without saying I'm done. It's yeah. redemption, man. It's well, redemption. Yeah. My wife was in the other room, and all of a sudden, as I see it happen, I'm like, honey, they got Luke. They got Luke. And she's not a big Star Wars fan, but she's watched them all. And she comes in. She's like, I'm getting teary-eyed, and I don't yeah. care. Yeah. When you yeah. see him just destroying those badass, basically like sentinels, right? Those well, things were, were just 
you saw what that scene was, right? Like they basically recreated uh, the Vader scene. I, I thought the uh, overlay X-wing. was exceptional the way they did it. I mean, yeah, good. It was really good, and I think that you know, in these, in in at least Favreau and Filoni right now, we trust, right? Uh, and. and I think Lucas really had some place he wanted to go and maybe he got talked out of it or, you know, there's a lot of regret in probably how things happened. And I think he's like, this is how we fix it. And he wants to see, you know, people love it again. And they are, they are.